everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my 2022 skincare favourites that I promised you guys. I've done my beauty favourites for the year. I've done my beauty regrets. So this is all my skincare favourites. I'm not going to do a skincare regrets mostly because I just can't be bothered. And if you watch my favourites videos, thank you so much for watching them. You will already know the stuff that I have loved in terms of skincare throughout the year. So these products I'm going to share with you guys today are all new launches for 2022. That doesn't mean that these are the only things that I use, but these are just the things that were new to 2022 that I loved and I wanted to share with you guys today. Now first off, I do need to mention that you guys know that I'm affiliated with quite a few different skincare e-commerce companies. For example, Stylevana, Wish Trend, Olive Young, Yes Style. So I am affiliated with quite a few of these companies and I'm always open and honest about that and everything is always linked in the info bar below. I have discount codes for everything as well. I do have to say that Stylevana is my favorite. They're the ones that I tend to work with on a monthly basis. They send me a variety of different products, which a lot of the time I actually choose myself. And then I showcase them on my face to you guys after using them for a couple of weeks. And then I let you know what my thoughts are. Stylevana is probably the more affordable one out of all of them I've noticed. I buy a lot of stuff from them directly myself. It's not not just stuff that's always sent to me and I've always noticed that Stylevana have actually got the best deals so I will put my uh, discount code here for you guys for Stylevana and all the other discount codes etc are all linked below. Now just to start off this video for those of you that don't know I've got normal to combination skin I'm 40 years old as well I have absolutely no signs of premature aging I have no fine lines I have no wrinkles I have no sagginess I have got nothing age related if that makes a difference to the skincare that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So we're going to start off with cleansers and the first one is this one right here. This is from the brand called I'm From. This is the Mugwort Gel Cleanser. This came out not that long ago, I think in around October time. And obviously bear with me, if you see me looking down now and then, I can't remember the ingredients of everything. I mean, I know I use a lot of skincare, but I use a lot of skincare. So I can't remember the breakdown of products and what contains what contains what. So I have to look it up just so that I can give you the right kind of information. So this is a very mild cleanser, great for people that have got problematic skin, acne prone skin, sensitized skin, irritable skin, etc. It contains altogether 60% mugwort extract, which is known for soothing and calming the skin. Like they say, it is a gel cleanser, which means that there is minimal foaming, but that doesn't mean that it is not working on your face. I tend to use this as the second step of my double step skincare routine, and I also also use this first thing in the morning to rinse off any skincare from the night before. This is a really nice mild cleanser and it also doesn't make the skin feel uh, dry and stripped giving you enough time to then go in with your other products later on. Another favorite of mine is this new product right here from the brand called Revectin. This is the Revectin Clean Green Papaya Pore Cleansing Foam. This came out in around November time, which is why you can see it's not been used obviously as much as this one, which I've used a lot of. This is 150 ml and it is a gentle exfoliating cleanser, but bear in mind the term exfoliating is very loosely used. It's not got anything scrubby or anything like that inside, but it's great for removing removing impurities of your skin, sebum of your skin, that can encourage blackheads and spots. And unlike the other one, which is a gel cleanser, this one has got more of a foamy kind of texture to it. So it's a lot more nourishing on the face. And this is another cleanser that also doesn't strip the skin or make it feel dry. That's it for cleansers. Next up is a toner. I've got one toner to share with you guys. Again, Revectin. Oh, it's a bit slimy. There's other skincare on it. This is the Revectin Clean Lotus Water Calming Toner. This is half finished now. I absolutely adore this. I think this came out towards the beginning of the year. So this is 200 ml and obviously will last you as often as you tend to use it. Now this contains 40% of lotus water extract, which is for purifying the skin and seven types of hyaluronic acid, which is known for obviously hydrating the skin, nourishing it from within. Makes my skin feel really nice and refreshed. And the one main thing that I love about this is it's in the name Calming Toner. Whenever I've had any kind of inflammation on my face throughout the year. I've had one or two allergy uh, attacks on around my mouth area where my skin has become very cracked and flaked and bled and so sore that I can barely even talk. 
I have used this around that area and it has not burned or irritated it at all. So if you've got sensitive skin, you're another person who absolutely love this. The brand Revectin itself is very, very clean, very, very mild. It still does a lot to maintain the integrity of your skin. Next up, we've got serums and ampules and those sorts of things. What I noticed about myself is throughout 2022, I went in with the vitamin C. I went in with working on the discoloration of my face, left over from acne scars when I was a teenager, working with the hyperpigmentation of my face because I'm a South Asian woman and we tend to be prone to pigmentation around our mouth area in particular. So I've really been focusing on kind of dealing with those kind of issues. And to that end, I've got this tiny little product right here, tiny but mighty. This is from the brand called Bellflower. This is the vitamin C 20% serum. So it contains 20% of ascorbic acid, which means that it is very, very potent and should not be used lightly. If your skin is not accustomed to using vitamin C, you should start off with 5%, then move up to 10% after about two months, and then move up to 20%. My skin can tolerate this. The problem is, is that if you use vitamin C, which is too high in concentration of ascorbic acid, your skin can break out. It can become inflamed and irritated. So you must acclimatize your skin first to getting used to stronger amounts. I absolutely love this. This one is semi-greasy, I would say, and I tend to use this at night. I always use my vitamin C at night just so they can really get to work while I sleep and I don't have to worry about any kind of greasiness or oiliness or anything like that. Just as a side note, this also contains niacinamide, so great for pore care. It also contains a rice ferment filtrate, which is great for brightening the skin. Sodium hyaluronate, which is obviously a form of hyaluronic acid. And I think there's about four or five different types of hyaluronic acid in here actually, which obviously means that at the same time as it helping with hyperpigmentation, dark marks and dark spots, it's also moisturizing and hydrating your skin at the same time. It's very watery, that's something you have to bear in mind, so you need to apply it and quickly rub it in. Remember when it comes to vitamin C, don't just rub it in like that and then leave it. You really need to work it into your skin, work it into your skin. And that's why I say it's best used at night time. The more you rub it into your skin till it feels like there's almost nothing Nothing there that means that you will notice that the dark marks and spots or the areas that you're trying to target will start to look very very different a lot sooner than if you were just to leave it on once and rub it in once or twice and just leave it at that another vitamin C product is this one here that came out not too long ago towards the end of 2022 this is from the brand called ELMT standing for element this is the pure vitamin C 20% element so this is a very strange product. I've actually done a full review of this, which I will link somewhere for you guys to use. You're supposed to use this at night because it is very, very rich in texture. I actually use this after moisturizer rather than before because I actually find that my moisturizers are much lighter in texture and more likely to absorb into the skin, whereas this almost sits on top of the skin as it gets to work. This has been sold by, by Wish Trend, and what they've said about this is that vitamin C's biggest weakness is that it gradually loses efficacy as it's naturally exposed to water, air, and heat. And the lifespan can be shortened, making it more prone to oxidization as a result of the water-based formulas. What they've done with this one is they've managed to control the amount of vitamin C's time used and used it in its purest form, ascorbic acid, to visibly increase elasticity and balance an uneven skin tone. This is actually a waterless product. It says it contains water-soluble vitamin C powder that activates upon contact with skin's moisture, and then it immediately forms a protective barrier that fights environmental aggressors for a brighter, firmer complexion over time. Like I said, it's got a very strange, thick serum type of texture to it. It's very, very unique. I've never come across something like this before. And again, I love to really rub it into the skin. And Another thing you need to know about vitamin C is that it may feel warm when you apply it, but it's nothing to worry about. At least you know that it's working. This is probably one of my favorite products from 2022, the entire range of this. I've actually got the moisturizer here to share with you guys too. This is from the brand called Neogen. This is the Sika Repair Snail Essence. Goodbye, COSRX. I'm sorry, but your snail mucin is just not as good as this. This is almost down to here. I've used it so much that I had to stop using it so that I could use other products. I absolutely adore this. So obviously it contains Sika extract and it also contains 96% of snail secretion filtrate. So pretty much the majority of this is snail slime. And I love, the, the reason that I love this so much is firstly, 
is yeah it comes out like a kind of runny and sticky like the Cosa Rex one does but not as much and it's definitely a lot more runny and watery and it absorbs a lot faster my skin feels amazing after using this you guys because snail secretion filtrate is known for repairing your skin's barrier and also helping with anti-aging besides from the snail secretion filtrate it also says and AC Sika Pure Complex I think that's something that they've created soothes the skin while other ingredients such as hyaluronic acid boost skin's elasticity and moisture and 10 kinds of youth berry pomegranate and hibiscus ingredients and help maintain skin's health so basically you can use this in the daytime you can use it at night time it's completely up to you but this is probably my favorite essence in terms of ones that don't contain active ingredients like vitamin c of the year now this came out in the summer again by revectin are you guys seeing a theme here i absolutely love the brand revectin this the seeker care clearing ampule i've used about half of this i would say cute pink bottle so this is great for people that have got acne prone skin and blemish prone skin or have blemishes pigmentation bumps lumps that sort of thing i tend to use this or have used this as part of my morning skincare routine because it's very lightweight very kind of got a water type of texture and it absorbs very very fast into the skin meaning i don't need to wait for ages for it to absorb before i get on with my day or go to work so the reason why it's so great for people that have got acne prone skin blemishes pigmentation that sort of thing is because it actually contains 73 percent of Sika, which gently calms your spots the inflammation the angriness the way that your skin behaves sometimes and it also actually contains calamine and that's the reason why it's a little bit pink and you guys will remember calamine from those days when you had chicken pox right this is stop irritation inflammation and itching it also contains a patented madagascar for improving uneven skin tone and inflammatory pigmentation damask rose which is an antioxidant with brightening properties it is 100% vegan and cruelty free I really like to use this as like an everyday sort of ampule because I don't necessarily have acne prone skin but I can get acne now and then depending on what my skin's doing that month good molecules is another brand that has been known to work with me in the past so this is their discoloration correcting serum now this is not a new product per se but they re-released it in uh, 2022 uh, for whatever reason I don't know they probably changed the ingredients or something this is amazing when this first came out initially a few years ago this was one of the first things that I started to use to help with the pigmentation on my face the scarring on my face and it is amazing I don't know why they reformulated it but I'm not complaining because it's still absolutely amazing so as it says it's formulated with cetyl transexamate to mesylate to target discoloration and promote an uneven skin tone so that ingredient that I can't pronounce basically works from within your skin to stop hyperpigmentation and stop scarring from appearing before it has the chance to hit the surface whereas a lot of other products deal with the surface kind of issues this actually works from deep within your skin which is amazing so it says it is the first of its kind anti-aging depigmentation active to help achieve naturally even skin tone by delivering transexamic acid into deeper layers of the skin that's exactly what i said it also contains four percent niacinamide so obviously great for again your pore care and brightening your skin as well this is an excellent product but generally i tend to use this at night as it's got a slightly thickish sort of texture but it leaves a nice non-sticky sort of finish before it's absorbed into the skin now following on from the success of that serum good molecules actually launched this which is the discoloration correcting body treatment 120 mil this is amazing you guys i have used this on mosquito bites that have left scars on my body i had a massive bite on my foot which made my foot swell to double its size. It was this big boil, which then exploded and there was pus everywhere, it was disgusting. And the scar it left on my foot, you guys, if I showed you in March what it looked like compared to now, you would be shocked. Because I have been using this on that scar every single morning without a fail now bear in mind that that was at the beginning of the year so this is how far this has lasted me because you only need a really tiny amount you know sometimes i've noticed with my skin for example on my chest area i can come out in little red bumps for absolutely no reason apply this right after the shower next day they are gone i use this on a scar i had on my arm the scar is gone so this works great at fading or completely getting rid of any kind of discoloration on your body and leaving your skin tone a lot more 
more even. I like the fact that Good Molecules came out with this large size so they will stop people going and using that tiny little serum and finishing it so quickly. This last ampule that I'm going to share with you guys is one that came out around December time, I want to say maybe end of November. This is from the brand called I'm From and this is the Mushroom Collagen Ampule. So mushroom collagen is basically plant-based collagen. So for those of you that are vegan out there, you will absolutely love this. So basically collagen in general is known for plumping the skin, for anti-aging, to filling out fine lines, smoothing fine lines, adding a little bit more elasticity to your skin, making it more supple. I have probably used, oh my god, I've used quite a bit of it. I've used about a quarter of it, considering I've only had it for about six weeks. I use this every single night. I find it a little bit too heavy to use in the daytime. But again, like I've already said to you guys, I am 40 years old. Yes, touch wood. I look great for my age. I mean, I work out a lot. I eat healthily. I drink a lot of water. But... I still have to be realistic around here. At some point, the skin's gonna start to age. But why should I allow it when I can use things like this? That's the reason why I use these for preventative terms. So this really moisturizes, lifts, and smooths the skin. And it's also very rich in antioxidants. Right, let's now move on to moisturizers. Of course, my favorite is no surprise, is the Neogen Sika Repair Snail Cream. So this is the cream that came out in conjunction with that essence. You guys, I've been scrimping okay scrimping because i love it so much this uh oh it's got a nice scent to it i don't know how to describe it but it's not unscented but it's not offensive or anything like that i've only got about a quarter left i would say it's got a slightly runnyish sort of texture and oh my god you guys after applying this to my face it feels like i'm applying velvet to my face my skin feels amazing looks amazing like i said this is my favorite moisturizer for 2022 it is that good this one contains 88 percent of snail secretion filtrate as well as two percent niacinamide so obviously this nourishes the skin hydrates the skin repairs the skin keeps it looking bright helps with pore care basically it's an all-round product that does everything and this is something that i would highly recommend to you guys you will not regret using this when have i ever lied to you guys you guys have tried so much of the skincare that I've recommended. Have I ever let you down? Never. This product right here by Huda Beauty from her brand called Wishful. This is the Honey Whip Peptide Moisturizer that came out towards the beginning of the year. I've actually nearly finished this. I was using this so much when it first came out. Absolutely love it. Oh yeah, it smells like honey. Yeah, it's nearly finished. There's hardly anything left in there. I've done a review video of this as well, so you can check that out in more detail. Nourishes the skin, hydrates the skin, repairs the skin, looks great on the skin, doesn't feel oily or greasy. I can use this in the daytime. I can use this at nighttime. I've not been a very big fan of Wishful. I've used quite a few of their products. Their other balm moisturizer, the purple one, was absolutely awful. I gave it such a bad review. But in comparison, this is absolutely excellent, and I gave this a 10 out of 10. So it says it's loaded with powerful natural extracts, a potent active, but it's still an ultra light whipped cream as it has got a nice whipped texture. It says that this has a blend of manuka honey, sika, peptides, and collagen to help firm, lift, repair, and plump the skin, as well as reduce redness and even out your complexion. It also contains ingredients such as Madagascar side collagen sodium hyaluronate niacinamide honey extract there are so many nourishing beautiful ingredients in here your skin will literally be glowing in the morning if you use this at night another new launch for the year and this is specifically a night cream this is from the brand called by wish trend this is their vitamin amazing bakuchil night cream bakuchil was the ingredient for 2022 even though i personally veered more towards kind of vitamin c but bakuchil was still something that was relatively new to the market so quite a few skincare brands came up with their own versions of whatever the product was with the inclusion of Bakuchil. This has got like a lemony kind of scent to it and it is yellow like you can see and it is nourishing and nice to use. You can if you want to use it in the daytime but it's specifically for nighttime so that it can actually get to work while you sleep. Bakuchil is actually a plant derived ingredient and for those people whose skin can't tolerate how strong retinol is, Bakuchil is actually the ingredient for you and it has actually been proven that Bakuchil is actually more effective 
than retinol itself. So about this, it says that this is formulated with two vitamin A ingredients, which is retinol, not retinol, and bacuchiol, in which retinol is effective in faster skin condition improvement than retinol. And bacuchiol is safer to use for all skin times as it is a plant-based retinol. This is supposed to improve your pore appearance as well as skin texture while providing moisturization while you sleep, helping to rebuild collagen, repairing damage after UV exposure, reducing wrinkles, age spots, and that sort of thing. So basically, this is great for those of you that want to kind of go towards your next steps of your skincare routine in terms of anti-aging, or obviously for preventative reasons as well. And the last cream I'm gonna share with you guys is this one right here by the brand called Mison. This is the Goodbye Blemish Soothing Gel Cream. And this is great for people that have got acne prone skin. Of course, they say it is a gel cream, so it has got a gel-like texture, completely clear, and it blends into a watery sort of finish, non-sticky or anything like that, and it's great to use for everyday use. It contains tea tree, lupiol, niacinamide, arginine, panthenol, suitable for acne prone skin, non-comedogenic, helps to prevent future breakouts, improves the skin barrier function, and relieves troubled skin concern. And also, I think that this is great if you've got oily skin, because it's got a very light gel kind of texture. For people that have got oily skin, I would always recommend using gel type of products, because they're a lot more lightweight, less sticky, and less likely to make you a lot more oily. This is what I generally tend to use when I'm having troublesome, annoying skin. And this is also great for the summer, when you want something quite light on your skin sorry i was wrong one more moisturizer here this is the cream counterpart to the i'm from mushroom collagen range this is the collagen cream nourishing hydrating plumping it has the similar ingredients obviously to the ampule in that it contains mushroom collagen great for anti-aging basically the skin looks plump it looks great i've been using this almost every single night ever since i got it a little bit goes a really long way you don't just have to use it at night like i do it's just because i tend to like to use some of these more nourishing kind of ingredients at night just so they can really get to work you can see it leaves a non-sticky kind of finish and it's not greasy or anything like that. It's very nourishing. So it's great for these cold winter months when your skin's feeling really cracked and it needs a little bit of love. I've got one eye cream to share with you guys today. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Bakuchil Eye Cream. So obviously it's an alternative to retinol again. So this is great for reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles under your eyes. It contains Sika collagen as well, meaning it plumps up the area under your eyes, but also keeps it soothed and calmed, no kind of irritation or anything like that. So this is great for basically for anti-aging. I've actually nearly finished mine because I've used it to death. Gives a really nice um, soft finish under the eyes, non-sticky, and it settles nicely under the eyes. You can use it in the daytime as well as the nighttime. I've got two lip balms to share with you guys. I have loved these ever since they came out towards the beginning of the year. They're both by COSRX. This is the Lip Plump AHA BHA Vitamin C Lip Plumper. And then this is the Ceramide Lip Butter Sleeping Mask. Now, even though it's a mask, it's a lip balm, basically. Now, the vitamin C one tingles a little bit when you put it on because it has got vitamin C, AHA and BHA in it as well. It's for nourishing the lips, for brightening them slightly. If they're looking a bit dead, I mean, if they're looking rough, they're looking a bit dehydrated. This is a great lip balm to use at night. It's got a fairly emollient kind of texture. It's like a weird, like it's not like your normal kind of lip balms. It does move around slightly as well. But I've been using this throughout the year and I absolutely love it. But this one has to be my favourite, the Ceramide Lip Butter Sleeping Mask. Ceramide really nourishes and moisturises the skin, but also repairs the skin at the same time. All these lip issues that I've had over the past year, I have used this all the time. Woken up in the morning, all the dead skin sloughs off, leaving nice, nourished, hydrated lips, soft and plump. This is great for people out there that have got issues throughout the winter, for very dry, cracked and chafed lips you will love using this at night. One sheet mask to share with you guys, this is actually the box. This is the Revectin Clean Lotus Water Calming Sheet Mask. Well, it's got the similar sort of ingredients as the toner has. And the fact that you can just leave this on your face and just kind of lie there and just let it calm the skin, soothe the skin, it cools the skin as well. This one, it says, a calming water gel sheet mask full of lotus flower extract that instantly soothes sensitive and damaged skin while providing a long-lasting hydration. Its main ingredients are lotus flower extract and a hutunia caudata extract, which is, again, known for soothing the skin, calming irritated skin. I think that there were 10 in here altogether. I can't remember. 
but this is what they look like. Last but not least, we have some sunscreens for you guys. First off, this one here by by Wish Trend, the UV Defense Moisture Cream SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. I took this to Venice with me and it was very hot. I used this on myself, my mum, my dad, and my aunt. We all used it. I've also been known to use this without having to use any moisturizer because it's a very moisturizing sort of sunscreen. It's not your normal lightweight kind of one. So you can skip using a moisturizer and use this on its own instead. It still nourishes the skin, hydrates and moisturizes, but it also protects at the same time. This is the reformulated sunscreen by Perito. This is the daily go-to sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 50, PA quadruple plus. It says weightless and scentless on it. So it says, smoothly glides onto the skin, delivering a strong and effective protection from UV rays. Formulated based on both chemical and physical filters, this fragrance-free sunscreen has lightweight and fast absorbing texture, making it comfortable for everyday use. Well, that's exactly what it is. It's a great everyday kind of sunscreen. Now, I have to remind you that all of the sunscreens I'm gonna share with you guys do not give off a white cast, otherwise I wouldn't really be showing them to you if they did. This one here by the brand called Skin 1004. This is the Madagascar Centella Hyla Seeker Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50. PA quadruple plus. So this is called a serum. Now when you first take it out, it looks like a cream, but when you rub it in, it goes into like serum kind of territory in that it's not got the same kind of texture as a cream does. It's got more of a serum kind of feel to it. Now it's non-sticky, however, you have to remember that if you've got oily skin, maybe I'd stay away from this a little bit because it has got that slight feel to it. Personally, I used it in the summer and I had absolutely no issues whatsoever. So about this, it says that our unique combination of Centella Asiatica extract and hyaluronic acids simultaneously heals and hydrates the skin. So obviously it makes sense because it contains a lot of hyaluronic acid in here. It has got that slightly more moisturizing and nourishing feel. So this one would be great for people that have got dry skin. Another one that I got is quite recent, which is why it's still in its box, is a new release from COSRX. This is the Vitamin E Vitalizing Sunscreen Tocopherol. It says it contains vitamin E to protect your skin from light and heat. From light and heat, leaving your skin healthy and moisturized. SPF 50, broad spectrum. And I do have to say that the reason why I bought this is because I know that because I use vitamin C, if you use products with vitamin E, like a moisturizer or sunscreen, actually increases the efficacy of the vitamin C, meaning that it works even better. The one thing I will say about this is that you should stay away from it if you've got oily skin. It is quite a rich sunscreen. It's much more like a moisturizer where you have to proper blend it into the skin. Doesn't leave a white cast, however, but I've been loving using this throughout winter where your skin becomes so dry, so cold, and it needs that extra nourishment. And last but not least, and my favorite release of 2022 in terms of sunscreens that I have raved about to you guys so many times is the Beauty of Joe Sun Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. This leaves the most perfect finish on my skin, a nice satiny sort of finish, not too oily, but not too lightweight. It kind of adds to my moisturizer, but doesn't actually affect my makeup in any way at all. It contains rice as well, which is known for brightening the skin. You've probably come across this on quite a few different people's channels. There is a reason why this is so popular. It is very, very lightweight, not heavy, not sticky or anything like that. Doesn't give any kind of white cast, blends into the skin beautifully, no pilling or anything like that. None of the ones that I've shared with you guys today have any kind of pilling bear in mind and pilling basically means when you've got so many products on your face it starts to leave little balls of product on your skin none of these do that but this one hands down is my favorite wow that was a lot of stuff um but yeah so i wanted to share the best with you guys so that's it for my 2022 skincare favorites for the year hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all soon bye